Welcome to episode 61 of Let's Play Civilization 3 Play of the World. As you remember from our last video, we destroyed one of the key Celtic cities, a blow which certainly definitely hurt them. So now that that's done, we're going to focus on some new objectives. As you also know, <clears throat> the Koreans and the Germans are fighting, and they're going at it pretty well. This destroyer is here mainly to observe uh, the fighting. I really can't spare any troops to go to Germany at this time, but I can certainly um, I can certainly watch and see what happens. And I might be able to send some tanks to do some damage later. All right. I'm going to fortify all these guys there. That big hole where the great Celtic city of Richborough once was. Now gone. So, I want to transport some artillery there to shoot at that source of coal. I'm pretty sure it's not the um, Celts' only source of coal, but it's still a good idea to um, get rid of it. Uh, and look how deliciously close we are to their capital. It won't be my very next objective. However, it won't be too far in the future. I promise you that. Alright, now we come to the Celts, I mean the Koreans and the Germans fighting. And um, the Germans don't appear to have tanks. I've never seen a German tank. I don't think they have um, rubber at all, even though I see it right there on the lower part of the screen. They just haven't connected it. That's one thing I should do, is I should go and take that source of rubber before the Germans are smart enough to connect it up themselves. But for now, the Celts must really be preoccupied with something, because they're sending a very small number of tanks after us. Alright, so they try to get this city back again. And I almost get destroyed. I actually do, I do get destroyed. Okay. Right now the Koreans are striking back against the Germans. And as you can see here, there's quite a lot of um, tanks. And they're moving pretty good, so... Don't know exactly what they're after. Alright. So, uh, the Mongols have this Marine who's after me. And he gets killed. Chinese come and they uh, shoot at the Mongols. I'm pretty much 100% sure that the Mongols are going to be the next civilization wiped off the map. But they could put up a pretty good fight against this Chinese guy. I don't know, I guess the other Chinese tanks don't really want to mess with it. They just want to go to a different city, which is okay. It leaves it for me. So... All right, a lot of improvements I set into the works a long time ago are just now being finished, and so I'm having everyone build tanks. Yeah, we're going to go after these guys. All right. Now... We're running out of gold fast. Look at this. I have 19 gold and I'm losing 63 per turn. So as much as it hurts, I'm going to have to way really cut down on scientific funding for the time being. Hopefully I'll be able to turn that around before long. Because I really do want the um, to build the United Nations myself. Alright, this new settler. I'm going to have one space over from where Richborough once was. Settle him there. The city will be called New Kolp Kolapur. I don't know if that's pronounced correctly, but the point is, it's a city with an Indian name and formerly Celtic territory. That must, that must sting. I'm sure it does. All right, now it's best not to just wait for that guy to attack me again. It's best to attack him, even if it means leaving the city. But I'll be right back. So. It's not going to be like um, really bad. So get rid of him. 
move him back and now it is time to assault this city once more alright so I bring him in so far so good ah darn okay well there's that guy Set, send him in alright that didn't work out too well fortunately we have more <coughs> And that doesn't work too well. Wait, wait. It does work well. I get him. Now they have a drafted rifleman there. So I decide to um, send this guy after him. He's not fully healed, but that's okay. He's not that big anyway, but oh, he repels him. Oh well, we have others. Send him in. And I got him. Now only him left to clear out, so I'll send in one of my tanks here. And he's gone. And the city is mine. Ah, that makes me happy. That makes me very happy. Alright, just build the barracks like standard. And fortify these guys. First thing I want to do is get rid of this guy. I can use this cavalry to do that. Bang. And he's dead. Too easy, I say. Send him back there. And send them all back there. No reason to have them hanging around. Alright, now it's time to attack this city. Which, I don't know if you remember or not, was once a Mongol city back in the day. Now this helps control it. And soon we will control it once again. Remember, this was ours up until video, I believe it was 58, 59, they took it back from us. Right, that didn't work. We'll send another guy. And that didn't work either. Well, no fear, we have another guy. We send him in, and... Jeez, this guy must have superpowers compared to most infantry. Well, we have one more guy. Maybe that will turn the tables. And lo and behold, it does. He is dead. And it turns out he was the only guy there, so the city is now ours. It's already connected by rails to the rest of our empire, so I can send whoever I want there. So I'm going to send a new infantry there and put a drafted one in the city he left. Alright, fortify all these guys. Once all the tanks in New Kolapur are um, healed, I can use them for other offensives in the area. Alright. Well, we'll bring all these guys in here to get fortified. And I believe that's all for this video. So, hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you next time for episode 62. See you later.